I ain't gonna be able to do that. Dang, I suck. I'm so stupid. Small things like that really shape your world. Hey, welcome to the couch. This is a moment with joy. And I'm grateful that each and every last one of you are tuned in today. I wanna thank all our subscribers for subscribing and for being faithful watchers of the couch. We love each and every last one of you. Um, if you like these videos and they have helped you in some way, could you please comment down there? Y'all talk to me. <laughs> Be interactive. I love your comments and I love talking to you guys because you're great. So please continue to, to tune in. We love it, okay? Right now, we're gonna talk about the power of your words. The power of words. And the ones you choose to use and the ones you choose to not use, right? Um, oftentimes, I think we don't really take it too serious when we, when we should, like what we say. A lot of people wake up and be like, man, I can't do that. I ain't gonna be able to do that. Dang, I suck. I'm so stupid. Small things like that really shape your world because the, wor the, the universe just grabs what you say, the angels just grab your words, and you just keep throwing out all this negativity over and over and over and over and over again. And, that, and when, it, when it comes to you, you're like, why is this happening? Why is this happening? We, our words literally create the world we're living in. Seriously. So once we know that we were created to create, then we'll start taking more responsibility for what we're saying. When we wake up, it's, I am, I'm beautiful, I'm gorgeous. Today's gonna be great. And a lot of people talk about people who say grand risings instead of good morning. I can understand it because morning, I don't want a good morning. I don't want to mourn at all, actually, to be honest. I would just rather rise and it'd be great. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather rise up. And it even feels better than great morning. Like the great morning, the great sorrow or something. I don't know. It just makes me feel funny. So when it comes to words, I choose to use words that vibrate a little higher than most. Um, and it's helped me tremendously in my peace factor. It's just helped. Um, I remember this one story when it, when it dawned on me that words actually work. And I wasn't even, I, I was playing the game with God and the angels because they were like, the angels take your words and they take them straight to God and he just bring, you know. And so I was like, well, let me see. But I didn't use it on myself. I told my niece to do it because they say babies are closer to God than you could ever be because their hearts are pure and stuff. So I was like, let me see about these words. I said, baby girl, say, give me $5,000. And a lot of y'all probably like, Joy, you crazy. No, I did, and it happened the next day. It happened. And from that point on, I said, oh, whatever I want, I'm gonna get. And it was just the confidence of whatever I want. And of course it wasn't used recklessly. However, um, to know that just a small inch of faith of knowing that God will supply, that you won't be left out, that everything is working for your good, and you say what it is that you want, and you will receive that thing. And if you say anything else, you're gonna receive what you ask for, whether it's good or bad. You I mean you you could choose, you choose, and I just choose the good. So when the when anything unfavorable favorable is happening. I quickly switch it around with something positive. Or if, even if someone comes to me and says a word that I feel like, oh, no, 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 let's change that. Let's change don't to I'm gonna learn how. Can't to I will know how to do this soon. It's a, it's a learning thing and it will become a habit if you practice. So we're gonna practice on creating the world that we desire around us. If you, if you want roses, I, I put on, online that I just like roses and roses been showing up. Everybody buy <laughs> flowers galore. People are like, what's the address? Where do I send these flowers to? Say what you want, mean it, fill it with your gut and watch it come. It's a spiritual law, nothing else. Every religion can get this. Every last one of them. You speak it as yours. Not outside of you. Everything is in here. And then just come on out. So let's be bold, let's be brave. And let's start speaking the words that will create what we really want and not the ones that won't. 
okay? Write a list down too. Write everything down that's good in your life. And we just gonna focus on those. And that other stuff we just gonna, we might pick up later, but let's, that's your homework today. We're gonna write down a list of everything that's good and we just gonna keep repeating those things a day. That's what we gonna do. Yep, we're gonna create this peaceful, loving world. That's, that's what we're gonna have. We're gonna have peace, love, and joy. That's what we're gonna have. We're gonna speak it over and over and over again. So before we go, you already know what it is. Remember, in the world, it's a lot going on. So don't judge, because everybody going through something. And I need y'all to what? Breathe, eat, drink your water, and make sure you get some sleep. Peace. <laughs>